In the next 11 minutes, I'm going to tell you exactly what Go High Level is 2024 edition. Now, my guess is you're here because you've heard your mother's cousin's dog's dentist talking about high level and you're wondering what is all the fuss about and is there anything to fuss about? And I'm going to tell you that there is indeed a lot to fuss about in this video and that is not a biased opinion. I personally believe high level is the future of digital marketing and CRMs and I'm going to show you why in this video. So firstly, I like to think of high level as a giant cargo ship. It's transporting goods and those goods are services and systems that you can implement in your own business or deliver to other businesses to help them grow. And while I don't know how many of you work in the shipping industry, one thing that happens when you transport goods is that you get paid. And the stronger and bulkier this ship is, the more goods you would be able to carry at a time. And that's what High Level is built for us. But what's really cool is that to use this ship, we only have to pay a flat monthly fee. And they give us all the tools we need to grow our business and other people's businesses. Pretty insane. Now I want to go into more depth on that, but you really need to know about the leadership of High Level before I do. These three guys you see on your screen, Sean, Varun, and Robin, I've had the privilege to meet personally and talk to on multiple occasions. And I can tell you they are the opposite of everything that the internet marketing industry typically gravitates towards. The norm in this industry is a product that barely works and a charismatic founder telling you that you can make thousands of dollars overnight by using their software. In contrast, the high-level founders are focused completely on an amazing product and you won't see them selling any sort of scammy business opportunities at all. Not only that, they really listen to their customers. Varun even told a story at the high-level summit last year about how a certain customer was struggling with a certain feature and needed a different use case for that feature built into high level. Varun released this to the developers and they overnight were able to build in a slightly different use case for a particular feature so that this client could go live with their software and sell to their customers. Absolutely insane. If you've worked in any sort of project management or corporate job, you know the norm is listen to your customers, but basically just go back to them and tell them it's not possible. High level again is the complete opposite and just says, how can we do it? Builds that into the software and is releasing new features almost every single day. So that leads me to the origin of high level. How did we get to where we are now? Well, Sean was trying to sell basically a two-way SMS software to local business owners. And while they liked it and they needed the software, they called him to cancel pretty quickly after signing up. And in Sean's own words, he says, why are you canceling? Are you an idiot? Very straightforward kind of guy. If you watch any podcast with him, you'll see that. And the business owners would say, no, no, we love it. We just don't have time to figure it out. Fast forward a few months later, Sean gets on a call with Robin. And Robin has about 80 agency clients that he services, takes one look at high level and says, can I release this to all 80 of my customers? And that's when the light bulb went off in their heads and they said, huh, maybe we should be selling to the more tech savvy marketers and allowing marketers to resell that to their customer base instead of trying to go straight to the customer base. And this is a really cool model because it's small business supporting small business instead of some massive faceless CRM corporation trying to support small businesses, which doesn't work. The small business will rarely know how to use the software properly. So because of this roundabout way of getting to the end user, there are two main pillars of what high level offers. Number one, the agency features for people who are reselling sub accounts or selling to multiple people underneath their brand and the CRM features for actually using the software to run your business. So first, let's see what the value is for the small business through the CRM technology for managing all your company's relationships and interactions with customers and potential customers. A CRM helps companies stay connected to customers, streamline processes and improve profitability. This is a very good definition and this is how I look at it. Every business has leads coming in from multiple places. Facebook ads, website forms, Google ads, people calling the business, people walking into the business, landing pages from other marketing, phone numbers on billboards, just to name a few. For most small businesses, these leads are just scattered everywhere and there's no organization or there's a very rudimentary organization process. So the beautiful thing about High Level is that it provides one single spot for all of these leads to live. And not only that, it goes a step further and allows you to streamline tons of processes, automate things, and call text and message all in one spot. So I made a full video outlining absolutely every single feature inside of High Level, which you can check out here. But for a brief explanation of the core features of the CRM, keep listening now. Number one, automation. So based on a ton of different triggers, leads, sales, people booking appointments, you name it, you can send automated texts, emails, voicemails, internal notifications, add people to other workflows, remove people from email sequences, whatever you can dream up, you can pretty much do it inside of the automation builder in high level. Next up, you've got reporting. You, you can plug in ad analytics. You can see reporting on individual agents inside of your CRM. You can track sales. You can track leads. You can tag them, sort them, filter
filter them. Again, whatever you can dream up when it comes to reporting, it's in there. Next up, pipelines. There's customizable pipelines inside of the opportunities dashboard and high level so you can see what stage of the buyer's journey a particular customer or lead is in. Next up, memberships. You can have courses hosted in high level with communities, which is absolutely insane, especially with it plugging into all of your other customer interaction. Additionally, they have a social media planner similar to Buffer or Later, and they have the ability to collect payments, send invoices, proposals, and estimates within the app connected to Stripe, PayPal, Authorize.net, NMI, and QuickBooks. And as if that wasn't enough, they also have calendars like Calendly, but way more robust, much more customizable. And again, you can literally dream up whatever you want with those combined with the automation builder that I talked about earlier. They also have the conversations dashboard where you can see email, SMS, Google My Business messages, live chat, WhatsApp, Facebook, calls, voicemails, and Instagram DMs all in one spot. Now, those are the key features, but they've added a ton in the last year. And I want to highlight some of the most exciting ones here. First of all, they added a ton of AI elements. With their AI, you're able to create social media content, write emails, edit the copy on your funnels or websites, and have an AI chatbot that automatically responds to your leads from high level. I mentioned this one already, but WhatsApp was new in 2024 and highly awaited, especially for those outside the US. They also added the marketplace in 2024, which is where third party apps are allowed to integrate into high level, kind of like a WordPress plugin, except way less buggy than WordPress plugins. So it was already pretty easy for third party tools to come into high level, but they made it even easier through this marketplace. And what's really cool about all of these apps is that if high level doesn't do something like, for example, direct mail that you need it to do, there is an app that does that and you can plug it into high level directly instead of having to use Zapier or something else to send requests outside the app. The community just keeps growing and the resources around it are making high level easier and easier to use every single day. If you want to see a full list of everything high level is adding every single week, you can go to the ideas board and look at the change log there. Tons of absolutely incredible stuff and it will show you the direction the app is heading. All right, those are the features of the CRM, but again, we need to discuss what high level does for agencies as well as SaaSpreneurs or people reselling sub accounts. The best way to do this is to describe the three tiers that you can pay for on high level and describe each of the agency features inside of those tiers. So first of all, on the 97 a month plan, you can get three sub accounts, which it just used to be one amazing update there. And you can white label the app with like 95% of the features inside of the CRM. You can also add unlimited team members to those three accounts. And I just love high level in this case because they're not feature gating. They're giving you almost everything inside of this 97 a month account and making it super easy to get ramped up with your first three customers, pay for your subscription and go on from there. Next up, we have the 297 a month plan. And the main difference here is that instead of three sub accounts, you get unlimited sub accounts, which is insane. And within each of those sub accounts, you'll now be able to rebuild your customers for incremental costs on each account. Haha, ha, now I know what you're thinking, Keaton. I thought you said that this was just a flat fee and that there were no incremental costs. Well, here's the thing. There's a few features like AI generation, texting, and emails that cost high level extra each time they happen. And because they're giving unlimited sub accounts away for $297, that means they can't afford to give away the text and the email and the AI away for free. So what do they do? They came up with a really clever method called Blade Revenue, and this is how it works. So High Level has tens of thousands of small businesses using their platform every single day. And every time one of those small businesses wants to send a text, what happens is High Level goes to the person that they order, so to speak, the text from, Twilio, and then they send it to the agency, and the agency then sends it to the small business who delivers it to the customer. But here's where it gets crazy. Because High Level is something like Twilio's third biggest customer, they get massive volume discounts. Aha. Meaning that High Level can send a text for let's say 50% of what we would be able to send text for with low volume. So what they do is actually discount Twilio's fees 10% off market rate and give it to us with the opportunity to rebuild customers so our costs don't increase as well. But it's beautiful because High Level makes a little bit off of every single text that gets sent. Example numbers on the screen of what High Level may be getting charged, what the agency would get charged, and what you would be able to rebuild your customers for. Now this leads me into the very last plan that High Level has, which is the $4.97 a month plan. And the reason I'm bringing it up now is because on this plan, it actually gives you the option not just to resell at a fixed rate of 5% extra to your customers, but to actually rebuild at whatever amount you want on text and email costs and provide a lot more revenue.
revenue for your software company with that model. The other thing that happens with the 497 plan is you're able to automatically create sub accounts via high level from a checkout page. So you can set up your own SaaS website like I have at streamline with a y.io. And when people go to the checkout page, they can type in their information. It will automatically create them an account, send them the login info and load it with any templates, automations, etc. But what's really cool is you can also feature gate. So if you have a 97, 297 and 497 plan as well, depending on which one they check out on, only those features will show up in the ad for that particular person. Absolutely insane. It should be noted that features available on the other plans, but the 497 plan is the only one that allows you to do everything natively and have it automatic inside of the app. It also includes a few other bonuses, which are listed on the screen now, and it's totally worth investing to, even if you only use it for your business. But the fact that you can resell it to unlimited other people is literally insane. All right. So tell me that software is not cool. You can't, you literally can't. And when you take all of these positive things and you combine them with a community that is like so excited to finally have a product that actually works, doesn't tax them and try to steal all their money for adding more and more people to the platform, you've got the perfect product. I just, I love it. I really like to play devil's advocate when reviewing softwares, but high level is the one that I just really can't speak ill of. Now, if you're thinking about joining, please consider using my link below. I offer $8,000 worth of bonuses plus support within my community for people getting up and running on the software, figuring out how to sell it and use it. And I made a free one hour training on how to use high level that you should definitely check out if you're still skeptical. So I'll attach that here with all that said, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.